coronavirus, aka COVID-19. What is it? How does it spread? Why is it such a big deal? How can we stop it? And how did it start? Before we begin, I should say I wasn't even sure if I should make a video on this. I tend to make a lot of jokes in my videos, and I mean a lot, but this is nothing to joke about since so many people are affected by it. But I get a lot of comments on my natural disaster videos from parents telling me that my videos helped calm their kids during threats of earthquakes, tornadoes, and hurricanes. So I decided that if it makes people feel better about a bad situation, I should do my part by teaching about it. This video is going to look different because I threw it together really fast and there aren't too many jokes because it's a serious subject. And I should say that while I'm no expert on this subject, I do have two puppets and a robot. Coronaviruses, well, you guessed it, a virus. Humans ingest and inhale millions of viruses every second. Viruses are so small that even bacteria is bigger than it. Do you like my cartwheel? Viruses are thought of as a gray area between a living and non-living thing. It's like a machine with one job and one job only, to replicate itself. Coronavirus is not just one virus, but rather a large family of viruses that cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to more severe ailments. But they all have one thing in common, an external structure that features little crown-like spikes. And that's how coronavirus got its name. Because the word corona in coronavirus comes from the Latin word corona, meaning crown or halo. Coronavirus disease, aka COVID-19, is a new strain that was discovered in 2019 and has not been previously identified in humans. Coronaviruses are zoonotic, meaning they are transmitted between animals and people. People affected by this virus may experience cough, fever, tiredness, and the most serious condition, difficulty breathing. If you feel difficulty breathing, you should visit a hospital immediately. But first, inform the hospital that you're going to go there so they can prepare. So now, how did it start? For that, we go to Steve. Okay guys, I'm gonna teach you how to start a perfect omelet. First, you get 38 eggs Steve, and then... you're supposed to be talking about the coronavirus. Oh, uh, it started with... Sorry about that, guys. I'll take it from here. The correct answer is that we aren't exactly sure how it started, but we have a good idea. Wild animals can carry diseases that don't really affect them, but are deadly to humans. In the wild, these animals are fine, but in some places, they're kept in cages, which allow for illnesses and diseases to spread. Some exotic animals are kept as pets, some eaten as food, and others used as medicine. The common belief is that the current coronavirus that's affecting humans came from a bat, as a nearly identical virus was found in a bat in China. But further information suggests that this specific bat coronavirus did not directly infect people, but it could have been transmitted to people through an intermediate host. Enter the pangolin. There is some belief that the bat's virus passed to the pangolin, which was then consumed by a human. The truth is, we don't know yet. All we know is that this virus's origins likely began with sick animals held in horrible conditions. So how did this thing even spread? Its main way of spreading seems to be through something called droplet infection. This type of infection is transmitted from one individual to another by droplets of moisture expelled through sneezing or coughing, landing in your eyes, nose, or mouth. The virus can also live on surfaces anywhere from a few hours to a few days, but this likely rarely infects people. So why is it such a big deal? So now you may be thinking cough, fever, all these symptoms don't seem like a problem, so why should I worry about the coronavirus? Well, for that, let's compare it to the flu. I got most of this information from the website Vox. They posted an article comparing them that I'll link in the description box. First, COVID-19 is a bit more infectious. The average person with the flu would typically infect 1.3 people, while a person with COVID-19 would infect two to two and a half people. Also, 
the time from when you're first exposed to the virus to when you actually show symptoms is up to two weeks. That means you could walk around infecting people and not even know it. What? But the biggest reason COVID-19 is such a big deal, at least to me, is the hospitalization rate. With the flu, 2% of people are hospitalized. But with COVID-19, 19% are. This means that if a large number of people are infected, the hospitals become overrun and people can't seek treatment. This is why it became such a huge problem in places like Italy. People were infected without even knowing it. And before long, hospitals were packed and people couldn't see doctors in time. So how do we stop it? For that, we go to Andy. Well, congratulations. A crazy virus is spreading around the world and hundreds of thousands of people are sick and you turn to a puppet for information on how to stop it. And the answer is actually quite easy. Yeah. First of all, it's not about stopping. It's about slowing it down. If a ton of people get the virus at once, doctors can't treat them in time. But if we slow down the number of people who get it, then doctors can properly treat them and boom, we're back outside flossing or whatever you kids do. So how do we slow it down? Well, step one is something people call social distancing and self-quarantine. It's a fancy word for staying home for a little while, avoid going to restaurants, schools, playgrounds, and anything else where a large number of people go. That way, if you get the virus, you won't spread it to other people. Yeah. Step two. Another good idea would be to avoid contact with very young people and older people for a little while. These groups have weak immune systems, meaning that their bodies can't fight the virus as well as others. Step three. Practice cleanliness. Wash your hands often. Viruses don't stand a chance against cleaning products, so be sure to keep clean to avoid spreading the virus to others. While practicing all these steps won't completely stop the virus in its tracks, it will slow down the infection so that the doctors can treat people before things get really bad. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you can, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at those names down there. I would really appreciate it. But I especially appreciate my patrons on Patreon. Especially, Mr. Nicholas, Miss K's third grade class, Creative Devin and Zach T, Leif Anderson Miller, Arthur Watson, Avery L, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Cash Kaser, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Danielle Peterson, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Darian Calvin, Ethan Schultz, Ari, aka R Tank, Gavin Meidel, Dom and Ollie, Brenton and Cosette, Mrs. Esslinger's third grade class, Aton Judah, Elijah Robert, Dora and Levi, Emerson Dean, Dean Scandalakis, Gwen, Iggy, Elowen, and Addie, Grayson Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Henry and Lucas Teeple, Audie and Riley Biley, Ethan Grainer, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Aria and Kieran, Kai Kim, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Kerry, Billy, and Mora, Krusty Face, Jack McGinney, Lennon, McCartney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Levi and Trevor Dwyer, The Rivard Boys, Matthew and James Mondiello, Evan Lee, Amelia Murray, Jack and Lucas, Michelle and Conrad, Leah and Gavin Clark, Annie and David in Pennsylvania, Wesley C, Harry, Max, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Evan Gray, The Three Ultimate Carbones, Anna Elizabeth Lede, Wyatt Michelle, and Zeno the Shark. Feel free to visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see my videos early, help me pick my next topic, and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, for those interested, I have worksheets and quizzes that go along with all my videos at my Teachers Pay Teachers site. While there's no quiz for this video, there's a bunch for all of my other ones. You can find a link for that in the description box too. Last but not least, I have a bunch of merchandise. I'll link in the description box as well. I have pillows, t-shirts, other pillows, lots of stuff. You can find it in my Teespring store. And while there's no fan art in this video, you can send any fan mail and art to Mr. DeMeo, P.O. Box 58, Keyport, New Jersey, 07735. Thank you for all those stars.